This tutorial is for the train linkage pin drawing sheet. So the part name, all caps, train linkage pin. The block. Start with your base. We want to make sure we find the right file, linkage pin. Click open. That's a little big, so instead of a scale of 10 to 1, I'm going to do 5 to 1 and see if that's a decent size. Yeah, 5 to 1 will do. Now my side view is going to look identical to my front view, so I'm not going to place one. Click OK. It's a fairly simple object to uh, dimension. All we really need up top is going to be a diameter. Well, let's do this. May have spoken too soon. I'm going to slide this up slightly. Leave room. I want to create a bottom view. So to create a bottom view, make sure we have selected, have your box around the front view, and then click projected. And then bottom. Right click create. Now I have a bottom view. So you could actually get rid of your top view, but I'm going to leave it there just for argument's sake. So we see this is the top, that's the side, or that's the front rather, and that's the bottom. Now we're ready to annotate with some dimensions on the bottom. We're going to dimension the cap. Do not get the green dot. And I'm going to actually change my, uh, my um, precision out an extra decimal place. And then we need to do the diameter for this outside line here. And we are once again are going to change our precision, but this time I'm going to go four decimal places. There we go. I'm not going to dimension the inner line, the inner circle here, because that's really part of the chamfer. So that will come out when we use our do our next step, which is the chamfer note. So we're going to do a chamfer note here on the bottom, angle, vertical line. And the reason I moved it over there is because I'm going to put my height dimensions here. Let's try that again. The very top, the very bottom. And once again, I want to change my change my dimension here. I'm going to change my uh, precision to three decimal places so that we see the total. Then I, want to, I will dimension from here to the very bottom as well. Okay. So we have the overall dimension of the cap, which was left off. The diameter, this diameter was left off the original drawing. For this number, I want to double click on it. I'm going to change the precision to four. That way it's not rounded. I just want to make sure they all end in 0.25 or end in 25. Those are all the dimensions we need to create this part. Nope, I am incorrect. I need one more, and that's the arc the surface radius here, and once again I need precision of four decimal places. Now we're finished. And if you want to double check, just go back and look at the original drawing, the original picture I gave you, and make sure you've labeled everything that's on that picture. In addition with this, this should also be labeled which is not on your original picture. And the final step will be to shade the isometric. We always shade the isometric. So if you are in a mode, just click Escape 
and then hover over the isometric and, and right click on the box. Edit view. Choose the third button for shaded and OK. And that is the drawing sheet. File, save as. And this is the train linkage pin or link pin. I think on one of your documents it's link peg. Peg pin, same thing. And then finally, we want to export. So go to File, Export, PDF. And the, that PDF is what you will upload to Canvas.